JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, today we're gonna try something new. Basically, we're gonna answer questions from Cora. Um, you know, a lot of people send me messages, a lot of people send me questions. Um, that's why I tell you guys you gotta take advantage. Just send me a question on my email, send me a question here through the comments, and I will answer them. But yeah, so somebody say, why do companies hire junior developers? All right, very simple. Because a mid-level developer or senior de developer, most of the time is more expensive, right? So let's say you're a junior developer and you're trying to get hired, right? You might come in and you're more open to get hired for a lower, you know, a lower salary than what other developers will come in for, right? But you could still compete with them. Meaning you still have the skills, you still know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you still know, you know, some backend. You basically have all the skills that a developer needs to get started on a project, right? So as a company, they look at that and they say, you know what? We're going to give a chance to this person. We're going to give them a chance and we're going to hire them, right? So that's one possibility. Another possibility is sometimes a company is working with newer technology meaning let's say node.js let's say uh you know crystal lang let's say elixir let's say golang sometimes older developers like let's say somebody who's been working in java or been working in c sharp for 10 plus years they haven't kept up with new technologies, new programming languages, right? So there's situations where those companies cannot find the right candidate. So let's say I'm in that company and I'm a senior developer and I know no JS, right? I say, you know what? We we actually need an extra hand here. You know, let's try to find somebody who's brilliant, somebody who's smart, somebody who can pick up the pace right away and we basically give them some training. You know, we start them up slow, and then from there we build them on, right? So that's one of the situations. Another one of the situations is, you know, depends on, on, on the company's budget. A company might just say, hey, we, we basically, we had, let's say, in a year we had uh, half a million dollars for the budget for the developers, right? And then they have one senior developer who's like 150. They have another mid-level uh, developer who is like uh, 80. Another one who's 80. So they still have money in the, on, on the budget to basically say, you know what? Let's hire a couple of junior developers who are going to help us out with this, this project so we could, you know, knock it out as soon as possible. So that's another reason why they might hire junior developers in. You know, to me, those are the top three. So, yeah, man, um, <laughs> I'm just answering the questions. And like I said, yeah, just any questions you might have, let me know. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Damn, you did. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. Make sure you show some love. GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses. They're pretty cheap. They're like $15 each on specials. And just listen, man. Change your life. Change your lifestyle. Do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bow.